Okay, so welcome back from the break. We are super excited that we're beginning the year with you, 2024, and it promises to be an exciting one. Looking at what happened in the creative arts space in 2023, um, of course, uh, 2024 will be a good one. But let's let's wrap up with the events that took place um, last weekend or over the weekend, and uh, let's begin with Afro Future. I think that on Friday we touched on day one where uh, those Black Sharif, Odumodu Black, um, FIA performed on day one, same as Samini on day one. It was quite exciting. And then there was day two, and that was when uh, Davido was like the headline act. But of course, he brought out the likes of Kim Promise, Stone Boy, those Adekunle Gold who also performed mm. on the night. So if you missed out on what happened at the Afro Future, there was someone standing right in front of the stage. Enjoy. But uh, let's take a look at the footage. We'll be back with more. <laughs>
Okay, so that's what happened at Afrofuture Day 2 at the Elwak Sports Stadium. And uh, it's quite an exciting one. Uh, well, we're all there, yeah, but a different location. <laughs> 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 on the grounds, everybody was picking their own moves, yeah, on the ground. So uh, let's get into it. Um, maybe I should be giving my review first. Yes, please do. <laughs> um, I think yet again, on the positives, yet again, um, Afrofuture, I think they have learned from... From what happened last year, I think security this year was really tight and there wasn't any hassling, you know, finding your way into the stadium. You just go through, just like go through the maze that I thought was too, there were too many. You know, you just move, 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 like a whole distance into the Elwak Sports Stadium. I got in there with, I mean, Charles Obi and Ponsai and his brother Kwabna uh, were moving around um, the, the, the place. Um, I got in. I think yet again the vibe was good for the diasporans who were there. But my problem again is that long break that it takes. No? What 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 is that for? Which long break? I mean, I may not be in the right position to to know what happened, but I'm just asking. Which long break? The, DJs. the long break after an artist performs. Yeah. Yeah. What is that for? There are sometimes the MCs may come in earlier, come and do some one, two talks yeah. and introduce the DJ to go on with it. And there are other times that there's no sound. Like the place is dead yeah. for like 20 minutes. We are just standing there. No music, no MC, nothing. And then I'm thinking, like, what is going on? So I think that it drew the energy down a little bit from people, especially when we're waiting for David O to come in. Yeah. More so, when his hype man had come in and done all the hype pain, uh, OB or 30 BG, had done all of that for like close to 10 minutes. He had hype. The last, last, everybody's waiting. I call out the video. He says five minutes. <laughs> now we are waiting for five minutes. It took over 30 minutes. 30 minutes call. 40, 40 minutes. minutes. 40 minutes. For David to come on stage. Like, what was happening? I know that, yes, there are sets where, you know, after this performance, a DJ will come through with an MC and it continues like that. But I don't know what was happening. That, that, that dead silence leaves a lot of us like, okay, we are tired. We are waiting on them. Why are they, why, why, why are they keeping long in all of those things? I think that it's something that they need to look at. Could there be a way that after one performance, there's the next performance, mm -hmm. back, 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 and then we are gone. We are out of the place. At the end of the day, close after four. Yeah. Almost into 5 a.m., right? Almost or so. Almost into 5 a.m. Mm. Charlie, you let people stand mm. from where? Those who went earlier in the day, but those of us who went around 8, 9. Sure. <laughs> if you calculate, that's almost 7 hours standing. You need to think about your patrons also. It's not just about you. If I come <laughs> and I'm tired and I feel like you're wasting mm. my time, Oh, wow. I heard a lot of people say who were even leaving yeah, before okay. the video came in. Oh, okay. people, those who were really leaving from our side were the VVIPs. A lot of them yeah. were I don't know leaving. why they were leaving like that. At a point in time, I felt like they they might have had some communication that David was not going to come. Because it has happened before. Uh, yeah. Last two years, Westgate Live in Ghana. Yeah. Westgate didn't come. And then all of a sudden, we see some of the VVIPs exiting. So in your mind, if you are just there, you're like, oh, Charlie, if the VVIPs are going, why should... I stay whilst I'm in general access. But then you could see that, like you said, David, the hype man has had come yeah, all of, to all say of a lot of things. So challenge. I think this year they, they improved. Um, the the set was amazing. I mm. love I love the set. I love the set. Yeah. You love the set. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Okay. The arch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. With the with the side screens mm -hmm. yeah. and. 
and the light, uh, but it was too low. I think it was. I think it was okay. Uh, if it was too high, because we were standing, it was mm. too high. It would become like stone boys. So we had to be stretching our necks, even trying to catch up. Maybe now saying now, yeah, yeah. But I mean, for me, it was it was it was just okay. I was I was behind. I think that the diasporans had a good time. Yeah, security was good. The police were moving all over the place. Vendors at the back were having a, 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 a vending time of their lives. Yeah. And their prices were skyrocketed, <coughs> mm. <laughs> you know. But I think generally it was a very, it would be a better one, I must say, than last year in terms of probably the organization, right? Mm. But for the artists' performances on the night, I think these ones were generally just okay. Last year, I think last year there was so much anticipation for Burner Boy and Ashake. So it got like a lot of people, you know, trooping to the place. That got it. The place is very crowded. But this year it was rather calm. The, the the list was just okay. So everybody just went in there, had fun, and just went out again. So big shout out to Afro Future. This is one of the things that we need going for us. I saw someone tweet that this is where government needs to come in and help organizers. And mm -hmm. I would agree with that, that the, the same way there are tax reliefs for businesses, companies who are opening businesses in the country because what they are going to employ Ghanaians and all of that. When it comes to December, at least there should be something that could cushion um, you know, event organizers mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, you're having a lot of people coming to the country. Diasporans are coming into the country. These events that happen draws attention. Of course, it's Mother Ghana mm -hmm. first. So if some of these things, you know, if they could help them cut costs here and there. Yeah. Because I entered, I entered with Obi and just when we entered to the metal stand, we saw Jerry. <laughs> we were laughing. Yeah, Jerry was you know, around. Like yeah. Jerry is already mm -hmm. here, you know. And sometimes when you hear some of the stories about, you know, people putting in huge budgets to organize events, and at the end of the day, GR is taking a chunk mm, of the money. Yeah. They are making losses yeah, yeah. here and there. It doesn't doesn't really encourage people to continue, you know. So let's 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 do well to them. So big shouts to Afro Future and the rest of the team for putting um that together. It was it was it was amazing. Let me um and why? I, I have been there. Harriet was her first time, so you let's allow Harriet because if I start talking, I might talk long. So you let <laughs> let Harriet. Okay, talk. so let's go to the first Harriet. time. Huh? Okay, so um, I wasn't there last year, so I don't have something to compare this year to. And uh, because Nanaya had been there last year, she was like, "Let's go early so we can get a better place to stand." So I think we got there around six thirty. Yes. Yeah. So I stood. From 6.30 to 4.45. And the show actually start, started around 9. Oh, yeah. It's like, the sister said around... Oh, no, the show was going on because of the uh, tune call. By tune the main call. stage performance. The main stage performance, like the DJs. They started with, with their songs. Nine, nine they're about. And we were just standing, just listening to songs. And I, for one, maybe I'm a piano is the song of the season but i was tired of the ama piano songs like every single day it was just one or two that played some of uh ghanian songs and even the ghanian songs they were old songs we didn't hear the new new like i mean kwami eugene kitty and the others and it all even sakodi's new songs it, they were all old old songs so in as much as we appreciate these throwback songs i mean we are at the end of the year and there have been new songs that have been released. Why don't you play those songs? So I, for one, I didn't enjoy the DJs, their selections and all that, because it was all on my piano. It was just too much. And changing of MCs, they come to do their thing. I, I love the the main host, the lady and the Elastica. other. The last The last yeah. And, and Michael yes, Nicholas. In her attire and all that, like the yeah. African dress. It was beautiful. For me, when it comes to performances, I'll say that Camido performances was great. His attire and everything, it was dope. I mean, his songs, are, it's Camido. He's a great uh, performer with his vocals always on point. I didn't enjoy R2Bs. I was looking so much forward to them. I didn't enjoy their performance. When they were, uh, they were playing the song, um, I think the one with uh, Wandy Cole, you know, Kiss your hand. Yeah, kiss your hand. Um, Payday's part, you, you could tell that he was expecting his part, but 
they didn't get to his part and then but now and it's not it's not i don't think it's his fault it's his DJ's yes fault. because yeah. you realize that he started singing mm-hmm. his part and yeah. then he, he he realized that okay it's, we're not it's playing not. his part so he went on to uh, another i mean song and i didn't enjoy rtbs i was really expecting them <laughs> i didn't enjoy their performance because there was some issue with the v- vip side and instead of they did focusing on his performance. He was trying to bring the attention of Mugi to what was happening. No, I... <laughs> and Mugi was like, no, I am performing. Please, let me perform. <laughs> Nana, you have something to say. <laughs> I don't have anything to say. Please carry on. <laughs> so I was like, no. They did focus. The military is handling the issue. Why are you trying to draw... Mugi's attention to what's happening there. And I, I just like the fact that Mugi's didn't mind him and he kept on performing. And then vocalistic, I don't know, maybe. Like, I didn't enjoy vocalistic perform. I didn't. Honestly, I didn't enjoy vocalistic. I didn't. I didn't talk about the performance there. Yeah, you will come back and you talk about that. I didn't enjoy vocalistic performance. No. And someone I was more worried that. Uh, the crowd was not going to vibe to his song was Musa Keys. But yes, Musa Keys came and his outfit was on point. You know, that this Jordan that he was doing, like it was nice. It was <laughs> like electrifying because when he does it, like you just want to dance. And he looked good in his red and white outfit. It was nice. I enjoyed his performance. And I was, see, I was waiting for the video. I waited to the stand that, see, I was literally sleeping. I had to sit on the floor waiting for Davido. And then his hype man came, as uh, Desmond said, 45 minutes later before Davido came. And see, by the time he came, the excitement was gone. It was just, honestly, this Afro future, I didn't, as I said earlier, I didn't attend last year's own, so I didn't have something to compare to. But I wasn't so happy with everything. Start, okay. The way they started late, the way they started late, some of the performances and the DJs and then I'm a piano. Like, I always South Africans. I'm a no, piano, I'm a piano, I'm a piano. You know, I, I, could, I, I could, to an extent, mm-hmm. um, agree that maybe that sound is not our sound. But you see, they're playing to a certain diaspora. I, I know what I'm saying. But wait, that's mm-hmm. it's no, only I'm a piano that is. I can't say Afro Future, no. It's not exactly, exactly like... A Ghanaian, a, a know, Ghanaian see, event. A Ghanaian, the Ama Piano thing. that they were playing, Kra. It's not the Ama Piano that we know. Why didn't they play Dali? Oh, why they play Dali? No, they didn't. Ah, ah, they they played Dali and they played uh, this one. Uh, they, uh, played, they didn't play Dali. Yeah, they played Ni... It's not Ni... Yeah, they, they played Ni... They played Dali. They didn't play Dali. <laughs> Honestly, I was you see, like, you see what you guys are doing, Dad. They are doing back and forth on our piano. But no, 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 no even the, if you are playing on so, my piano, play the ones that no, we know. I, I, it. No, I think that also there was a set by DJ Loft. Yeah, yeah, that was a very, very good one. Yeah, yeah. more Ghanaian tunes. Yeah, he, he's the only one. He that, had it. He had an issue though, mm-hmm. and I that one, that one there, Afro Future. I don't, I don't side with them. But then, like, like I, if Harriet is done, I can just give. So my thoughts let me, and let me everything. Just wrap yeah. up. Really, next year I won't clamor. Like I won't fight to go ah. for Afro Future. Honestly, I won't fight to go for Afro Future. Wow. No, I won't. Okay. If I don't get tickets, I I won't bother at all. I won't bother to go. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay. So Harriet, looks like. Every program is good. I every program is good for you. Go again. Oh no, I enjoyed Rapaholic. I did say I enjoyed Rapaholic. I enjoyed Rapaholic. Yes, I enjoyed Rapaholic. She just, it was just, she wasn't wild by the stage. The stage. But, I think, but I enjoyed Rapaholic. Anyway, yeah. so Afro Future Day Two. Now let's go to the ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. You know, uh, when I, I said it here that day one, um, when I went, I really expected certain things to happen. But it wasn't like that because um, sometimes it's like for an event, you evolve um, within the course of time. 
and I've been attending Afrofuture um, from uh, from 2018. 2018, I wasn't really there fully. I would say like a four for the morning, uh, let's say for the afternoon, the mid-afternoon, and then in the evening. I, I left very early, I think around eight or nine, yeah. But after that, 2020, 2019, 2021, 2022, I always leave like um, four. That's like the time I leave. So for first off, I would say that I enjoyed last year than this year. And I have my reasons for saying that. But then I'm going to start with ticketing and everything. How they did everything this year was so, um, was so amazing. I mean, you buy or you purchase your tickets and then you come and redeem your tickets on that day um, earlier before the main day. That was, you redeem your tickets on the 27th or so, 27th and then 28th, 29th is the event. So by the time you get there, you have your tag and everything so you can go through the maze. I'll say a big shout out to security, the Ghana police service, amazing. The maze and everything like that's what said he doesn't like what i always enjoy that because you see when an organization thinks about your well-being and then they make sure that nothing happens to you, you come for an event you experience something amazing and then you go home so that is what they have improved on since 2018 that i've attended afro future security is always top notch i mean this year ghana police were there a lot of them the military police were there and they did so amazing for that i'm going to sh i'm going to send a big shout out to the culture management group the organizers and also the ghana police and also the military police for, I mean, um, bringing their service on board for such an event. So I'll say that security and ticketing were amazing. Now, I'll, go to, I'll start with the stage. Like I said, I enjoyed last year than this year. Um, last year's stage wasn't as high as Stone Boy's uh, stage, but then it was better than this year. I say it was better than this year because if you lift it a bit higher, it, it's not like you're really looking into the sky, but then it's a bit higher than the ordinary person's height so you get to watch it from that side but then oh the whole arc was nice I, I wouldn't say that was nice it was so beautifully made and the two screens communicated well was so amazing it was good but then the stage should have been a little bit higher than it was this year last year it was higher so this year it wasn't really higher as last year like i said last year there were people that we witnessed were injured so maybe this year they decided to, I mean, bring it down for everybody to see. But then from where I was, I was in front. Practically, if I'm here, I'm, if I'm standing here, the stage is like here. So I could enjoy it. But some people who were behind it will not enjoy it. And some of the diasporans were complaining because of the ticketing system. Not like ticketing before, but then when you enter, how the VIP is and the VVIP is and the general access is. General access is even enjoyed. Like Joy where I was standing, yeah. it was Hi, like I was VIP. I was just an, uh, an armor with from yeah. me. Harris was just there. I was here, right but I was in VIP. Yes, and Harris I was blocking eyes with some of the the MCs. Like yeah. it was so it, it, yeah. it was nice. But then you see, some of the diasporans were complaining because they paid to sit. They they, they were thinking I'm coming to sit and then and enjoy watch. the yeah. show. But other people to purchase, they will not get a seat. So by all means, they will block you. Yeah. So moving forward. Even VVIP on the second day or the day two, most of them were blocked yeah. by some of them who chose not to sit but stand, yeah. come in front yeah. of where take videos they were, exactly, and all that. Take yeah. video. So I don't know how they'll do it. Some of the diasporans were complaining though. So well, maybe last year, mm -hmm. last year mm -hmm. the setup was in such a way that uh -huh. those of us who are the VIP and mm -hmm. the VVIP. Mm -hmm. Had like a cool lounge, exactly, and even the media, yes, yes. yes. to sit, and yeah. then there was a crowd in the middle, exactly. So, like, the VIP was on the wings, Good. and the, the mm -hmm. crowd was in the middle, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know because I also thought about it that I saw a lot of the dads when sitting on the floor, yeah. yeah. You look at the um, the part where they were selling the water and the drinks <laughs> yeah. on the yeah. other yeah. side, they were, they were lying on the floor, yeah. sleeping, mm -hmm. yeah. sitting, yeah. Yeah. chatting yeah. because. They couldn't stand like that whole yeah. time, true, like true, six, seven true, hours true. standing. So if I pay for VIP, mm -hmm. there needs to be something. And and for this VIP, none of in your brother. Yeah. Yes, the VIP. Yes, it was. VIP, VIP, yeah. 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 It was so expensive. So if I pay for a thousand and mm -hmm. it's just a barricade, mm -hmm. that that um, that separates mm -hmm. a VIP from general mm -hmm. access. Yeah. Then what is there? Yeah. Any, and even when I went there, you see, at the VIP side, we were having the VIP press. Um, at the VIP side, there was like a seat for people to sit on. Yeah. But then they were under, let's say, a canopy. Yeah. And then you could see that in front of them was like a big space. Now, on the day one, I, I didn't get there on time. But then when I got there, the seats were in front, like closer to the stage. Mm. 
So people were already seated and everything. But day two, when I got there, it was like a vast space in front. Yeah. And then the VIPs were seated. And most of them are from the diaspora. Mm. And I felt bad for them. I felt bad because they were seated thinking they were there first. Yeah. And when you come first, come first, serve. You are supposed to be in front. I mean, for the organizers, they should find a way to, I mean, push the, the, the like, make the arrangements in front so that when you sit, you get to experience everything. But then if you are there way ahead, way ahead of time and then people come to block you, it's annoying because right. you paid your money. So all oh, those are little, little things that I think like they should, they should, they should consider next time. Now, moving to the, uh, the performances. Camilo was the first perform. Camilo came on to perform around 10.35. Exactly. They said uh, up next is Camilo. I, I I checked my time and it was ten. It was ten thirty five. Camilo did amazing. Like the crowd responded very well to him. Some people didn't know his song. Most people were waiting for Sugar Cane. <laughs> Most people were waiting for Sugar Cane original and the Sugar Cane remix. That's what people were waiting for. Uh, but he did so well. He did amazing. His DJ they, were, they communicated very well and was super super good. Now, in between that, like this one said, that that's why the one person said that the MCN. You see. Most of us, because I've attended Afro Future, previous years, you can see that there is a stage director and there is an MC and there's a host. Mm -hmm. You get it. Mm -hmm. So there's some kind of communication that you don't get that vast or big void when mm -hmm. there's no performance yeah. and the stage is black and there's nothing going on and people are just standing there and they're murmuring. Mm -hmm. You get it. And in previous years, like I said, last year, I remember so well, you wouldn't even experience these things. Someone like DJ Loft, I remember last year, wasn't the last person, that's DJ to come and do his things mm -hmm. before Benna Boy, mm -hmm. like, will come. He was in between where he was able to hold the crowd for a very long time before others came. This year, there was only, I think, three Ghanaian DJs, Jews, AD DJ, and DJ Loft. Most of them were from the diaspora. So most, most of the songs they were performing were my piano songs and foreign songs. And I understand Harriet that, oh, yeah, she didn't enjoy it that bit. But then I have realized, on, I have realized countless, countless times that Afro Future has a stage director. They have a, an, an MC and then a, 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 a host. This year, that communication was so bad. People were so tired at some point. And then R2B came. For me, I'm a huge fan of R2B, so I enjoyed every bit. I mean, shout out to Payday for performing my song, Love It. So whilst R2B was performing, I was in the VIP section. Harriet was in the, uh, Harriet was in the uh, general assets. There was a fight behind me, <laughs> right behind me. So I was even complaining that, why is it that R2B is on stage? And then there's a fight. The issue of the matter was that some pretty ladies came very late. Uh, some pretty ladies came very late. And they met other people. But then they came from behind and squeezed their way into, into the front. So it, there was a bit of a push and pull at some point in time. Mm. So it's like six girls against three girls. And now the six girls were, because they knew that they are girls' girls, they can beat the three girls. They were sort of like arguing in, be in between performances. As a girls, girls thing. Girls, girls thing. Six uh, girls here, three girls here. And you can see that the six <laughs> girls, they had in, like, in between like culture, um, let's say different cultures were in Ghanaian, yeah. Nigerian, or whatever. And there was a bit of push and pull somewhere. And then one touched somebody, and one's frontal removed, one was bleeding Ooh. a bit, one bit somebody's mouth, they scratched ah. somebody's... Hey, hey, I didn't see all I that. To, I, I said it was see? right behind me. So that was hey. why... <laughs> that was why Pede was Pede couldn't perform, yeah. and he kept saying that yo yo like you shouldn't be doing this because mm. he was being distracted. Mm. He could see it, and if I'm here, Pede was practically had chugged one of his feet on one of the system, the sound system, and he was looking at it, and he can't perform. No so he was like yo on. yo let's let's stop this, and that's when he was trying to hit Mugi's mouth. <laughs> Mugi's not here. <laughs> Mugi's not here. But then. <laughs> Like the military guys and the security guys were able to were able to resolve that issue. But one girl was strong. One girl, I said people were bleeding. Military, uh, police, yes, uh, people were bleeding. Hey. So, see, hey. they were trying to take her out of the crowd. It was so bad, and it was difficult. Ghanaian, Ghanaian. Hey. The funny thing. They, are two, they are like two <laughs> Ghanaian girls. So one was wearing glasses. And the other was like cream and proper. <laughs> and the other came with a friend who was with the frontal. So when one was being pulled, 
Then she held the phone down. So front down on her neck. It got removed. You get it. So in, in between all these, the military guys were so amazing. Security was able to resolve the issue. Even a lady with Afro future. Every year I see a very fair, slim lady. She came and then she asked me, are we all right? What is going on? Uh, has the security come in to solve everything? I didn't ask of any, but she did very amazing. Like she, she went to check. She came out to check on the girl uh, who was bleeding. They checked and they realized, they realized that everything was fine. And then the uh, performance continued. Musaki's um, uh, Focalistic. Focalistic did very well. Just that the song was, I'm a piano. <laughs> You want a party. <laughs> so you see, that's one. It is not our fault. Most, like you said, Afro future is not for Ghanaians. It's for the Caribbean, the Haitis, the, the UKs, and the Americans. Because I'm thinking those are the people the organizers check to get their sort of DJs they like, and then yeah, they bring them. Yeah. And then they'll give us a few DJs yeah. to be on rotation. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. Because when they are playing Ghanaian songs, people are not dancing. The love to us practically went backwards. Yeah. Um, um, Camido's DJ, I forgot to say, he went backwards to play Book Back, played mm -hmm. VIP, yeah. played uh, Daddy Lumba, played Amachi Dede. You see? And some people were jam jamming, but others were just standing there. So, I mean, like, they, they are trying to do play Ghana and a whole lot of things, but sometimes it's not their fault. Okay. So, I mean, David O kept very long. David, me there. He did well. David did yeah. very well, but. But, but the timing, the timing like, was, so it, it was too much. Yeah. It was too much. And then we could realize why you were late. For me, I could realize why he was late. There was a problem with his sound. Yeah. His yeah. sound wasn't connecting well. So when he even came with Over the Mall, when his talk back, I think he couldn't hear. So even in my video that I recorded, he could say that he could touch the sound, and it wasn't really working. All these things could have been resolved, but then you came late. But then, all in all, Afro Future this year was was okay for me. It was okay. I I'm going like, back right, again. Right, it was okay. Right. But me, I'll go again. Any day, any time. Yeah, Afro course. Future is Tally, that 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 we, laugh experience. Seriously, yeah, yeah, I, I know we go out to go and jam, but yeah. standing for long hours is crazy. Standing for long is crazy. Was, crazy. Was crazy. crazy. Five, At some six, point, my hand, my, my feet, feet were yeah. pounding. Like how can I stand for like eight hours? Eight hours, Kohari. It was more than eight hours because we we got there around six thirty. In twenty twenty one, I I got there three i left there at four so calculate and this year we got there at six yeah we left there at three th okay. i left at three i left i left at right, yeah. yeah. it's 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 all good We've it's got all to go good for a quick but break. i would say yeah. this moving forward i mean we see the diaspora is coming in yeah. we see the money in december we need a venue an entertainment mm. venue <laughs> yeah. the Alwak stadium moving it's forward so i mean it will get to a point Maybe the sports industry will also rise up and say they will not allow us to use yeah. that place. Yeah. Across the stadium, people have been complaining. I don't understand why they are complaining, but then it's understandable that you see big men complaining. Because elsewhere, uh, people are using the West Ham Stadium, the Tottenham Stadium, and everything. So using across the stadium. But that is off season. That is yeah. off season. Off I, I get that it. That is off season. Okay, let's. I get it. That. We will not get <laughs> it. But I'm just saying that we see the money we make from entertainment. Moving forward, the government has to come in. An organization like Dirty Rave, Afro Future, I mean, individual artists that are doing amazing. We saw the num like we see the numbers. They, they need to do something for these people. Okay. You can't tell me that you are building a venue for entertainment and you wouldn't get your money in the next five years. That's like a bigger investment you can ever do for the entertainment industry. Yeah. So moving forward, Afro Future gets like, let's say, 10,000 plus, 20,000 plus. Why can't we have a very nice venue? I was coming this afternoon. I'm like, uh, Legon Stadium, very soon. We're organizing. <laughs> if we don't take care. But anyways. Um, anyways, it was good.